Welcome to the Miners post-game press conference presented by People's National Bank. Sign up for a Miners checking account at any one of their many locations. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois for 100 years. Now, here's manager Mike Pinto. Yeah, I mean, I was, to be honest with you, a little frustrated with the top of the inning. I thought we uh, we didn't play very well. We all of a sudden we got a little sloppy. You know, the ball that fell out in left field. Um, you know, all of a sudden we weren't attacking the strike zone. You know, we have a pass ball that allows a run to score, but um, everything worked the way it was supposed to. Uh, Chris Crescenzi was a good leadoff man, found a way on base. Um, Jackson with two strikes did a great job of getting the bunt down and you know you put a pinch hitter in and he does what you hope he's do does and goes in and gets a hit so um, you know everything worked the way it was but yeah you, know, you gotta give credit I think first of all Joey Metropolis certainly swung the bat like crazy today um, I mean those two balls he hit were absolute missiles um, and second of all Chris Lyman um, I thought he really, really competed out there. When things weren't going his way, he didn't give in. And um, you saw him really bear down in the ninth inning and say, okay, I'm, I'm going to get this. And um, you can just see how competitive he is. I thought Scarpetta did a really good job as a starter tonight. And, um, you know, I, I just I felt that we almost let the game get away. Um, second inning, we got the bases loaded. We have, uh, they, they've got their bullpen already started to throw, and we don't get any, any more runs in. Um, that could have been a key. You don't like to let a team stick around, and we let them stick around longer than we should have. Put, putting Andrew in in that situation could have had a lot of ramifications after, but he but he came through and got. Oh him. yeah, no, it was already thought out in advance, and as you saw, you know, all of a sudden defenses changed. Joey went out to the outfield. I lost my DH. I sent Ryan Bird to go get his spikes because he would have been the guy to hit uh, if we got to that spot. He's you know probably the most athletic of the guys that weren't available tonight to pitch. And, um, you know, I, was, I had to win it in the eighth. So I was kind of rolling the dice that that's what would happen. You know, despite, despite being in the bottom of the division, Evansville has kind of been a thorn in your side this year. How much just of a relief was it to pick up this win tonight? Um, I don't know about relief. Um, but, you know, you, you want to, you, I want to win every game. And um, they've, they've lost some close games. They're not getting their butts kicked. They're, they're losing some close games. And, uh, I mean, they... River City just barely beat them a couple games this week. So, you know, I don't take them lightly at all. Um, a, a record and in, in standing certainly can be very misleading. Uh, again, you talk about Metropolis home run, but that hit by Sweet in the top of or bottom of the eighth, that's got to be the key hit of the ninth, key play of the ninth. No doubt about it. Uh, you know, you put him in a tough situation. I've got, I'm, I'm playing that I've got two guys. I've got Sweet and I've got Lopez coming up behind him, that one of two guys are going to get a base hit because I just blew my catcher out. I pulled him out. I blew my DH out. So I'm spinning the dice that one of two guys is going to be able to get the job done there. You mentioned Jackson earlier getting the butt down with two strikes. You know, you showed a lot of faith in him there. What was the thought process there? Um, you know what, to be honest, it wasn't showing a lot of faith. It was the bunt had to get down there. And I wasn't going to swing, uh, we weren't going to swing the bat there. Somehow or another, we had to get the bunt down there. And whether it was at the beginning of that bat or with two strikes, but the bunt needed to get down. We needed to move that run over to second base. That was really important there. Tony Roth did a job he always does for you defensively. Uh, as always. I mean, you know, he just, you know, he makes those plays every day. You know, the, the ball up the middle, he makes the catch, dives and, you know, tags second base and the ball into the hole, you know, between first and second, he makes that play. And he does those every day. And so, you know, we get pretty used to him. And it's unfair to him because it, it raises the bar, raises the expectation really high. But, you know, he seems to always play up to that. How about Ruskowski's injury? Um, sprain. Um, we don't know the seriousness of this. We're going to send him to get an x-ray. Um, we think it might be one of those things where he's out a week. So, Sprained his ankle when he hit the bag? Yeah. Um, slipped off. When he hit the base, he slipped off of it, and that kind of caused it. So we're hoping that uh, it's a short-term thing, and because he's really been hot and um, really messes with not only our defense, but our offense as well. You had a couple big double plays tonight. Uh, what did you just think of the overall defense tonight? Uh, uh, good and bad. Um, yeah, we turned some double plays today. That was key. But I thought a couple balls that went up in the air, we didn't do a good job on. Uh, you know, the ball in left left field, I thought we were, it was some confusion there. And that's something we work on a lot. And so that was a little surprising because we're better than that. Um, I, I thought a couple plays we could have made that we didn't. Um, but but the pitchers did a good job. They, they stayed in it. Um, and, and Wyman came in and was the bulldog he is. You feel like your bullpen is starting to come around where you want it, or you still got some tinkering to do there? Well, no, I think I've, done, I've probably done the tinkering I'm going to do for a little while anyway. Um, you know, we added a couple guys here this week, 
And, um, I mean, coming into this game, we've given up three earned runs out of the bullpen in the last seven games. So I, I'll take that anytime. Um, so they've really done a good job. Today we got a little, I think we were rushing a little bit. Maybe got a little amped up because of the crowd. Uh, but I saw some guys rushing their delivery, and it caused them not to command the strikes on the way normally to do. Crowd was a big factor tonight, 6,000 oh. fans here. Oh, you're not kidding. And, and I would have been very upset losing this game because of the fact that we have people who pay an awful lot of money to come here to watch these games, and um, I, I want to put a show on for them. That's what they're coming here for. They're not coming here to watch a game, uh, us lose. They're coming here to watch us win. So, you know, I, we need to win that ball game. We need to win the series. Just how big of a Southern Illinois Miners fan are you? Hi, this is Bill Bond in the Seconds with People's National Bank. Show your love for the miners today by opening a Southern Illinois Miners checking account. It only takes $100 to open, and every time the miners win, you win too. That's right, every time the miners win a regular season or postseason game, your interest rate goes up. Stop by your local People's National Bank today to find out more.